Hey there, Brewberries. What's up and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you need a rundown, Satisfactory is a game based about automation and making things super efficient. Well, you're supposed to. I have kind of gone off the deep end in making things um, look crazy instead. But I think that looks okay because we're, it's just going to end up being pure chaos anyways. And uh, I'm having fun doing it. Now, at the end of the last episode, I did show this, but I didn't show it too in depth. So I have uh, expanded our mining measures a little bit. And uh, two of them are making plates. Two of them are making rods. And they go through this whole mishmash of um, nonsense because I didn't line them up very well and decided I'm just going to go crazy and make it look like a crazy network. And uh, eventually they all lead back up to these storage containers. And you can see that we've got quite a few plates here. And this is the rods and... They should be relatively the same if I can get to the bottom one. Yeah, that one's got a lot too. So getting a lot of resources and uh, we're just going to continue because why not? I like getting a lot of resources because then we can build a bunch of crazy things. Additionally, we've got two miners right here getting some more iron ore. And then we've got the conveyor belts that run all the way across into this whole assembly line over here. This is now pu putting out some smelter. This is a smelter here. Both are putting out iron ingots going in through constructing, making iron rods, and then this is going and making screws for these guys. One of the first things I want is the chainsaw, which we do have enough resources, so we can go ahead and do that. That's gonna be great. Solid biofuel also is gonna be great. It's very energy efficient, which is gonna be awesome to have. So we need to get this milestone done, which should be pretty easy, uh, but we want to be able to make the space elevator, which is a gigantic machine. What the balls? It's huge. And you might be wondering to yourself, why are you building these on top? Well, this is the only way I know how to make a ladder. So I'm this is this is just what what's happening. All right. Well, we got it. I don't know exactly what it is, but oh, my gosh, I thought that leaf that leaf scared the snot out of me. Honestly, I thought it was an enemy and that I, I just about peed myself. All right, space elevator. Can you fit here? You're too big. Pet, pet, pet. All right, that looks like a good spot. This thing is huge. Whoa, that's kind of crazy looking. Oh, it's doing something. What's it doing? Whoa. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> okay. Interesting. That is uh, a f kind of a strange animation. Makes me a little uncomfortable. Ah, okay. So we need this for smart plating. Okay, so we just need screws. And then for this one, we also just need concrete and screws. Oh, okay. That's easy peasy. Send it. Chainsaw acquired. Let's see what it's like. Oh, you need you need fuel for it. Oh, wow. This takes a lot longer. All right. First thing that we're going to want to do. Basically, what I want to do is I want to craft the biomass stuff so we can plop this. Sure, you can clip into the cliff. I don't care. We'll plop that guy there. And then we can uh, go back to this and then we can take all our leaf and wood stuff. Uh, I guess we're going to have to actually make it so it's just the leaves, right? Okay, so now if we make an assembler right there, what can we make? Okay, so you, you can only make things that take two, right? You can't actually make, take like, say you want to take wood biomass and leaf biomass. Okay, so we have to have two individual constructors okay after a little bit of chaos making i think we've got it the conveyor belts are so fun to play with so this is a this whole system is just purely about making us the uh condensed whatever condensed biofuel and uh i decided to go a little ham on the conveyor belts being crazy but i think they look really fun so uh this is for the wood biofuel and the other is for the leaves and then they eventually make it around this whole loop-de-loop -loop craziness and make it on into the storage unit yeah that flushes that area out very nicely hey 
Ooh, what is that? Oh. Ooh. 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 I was not recording. Really, but oh my. Ooh. Ooh, I did not like that. No, no, no. Okay, what happens when I kill this? Oh! Oh! There's multiples! They're so fast and spidery. Get out of here. Ugh. Despise these things. Oh. Come here, bird. Alright, well, nothing comes from that. I'd just like to take a moment to appreciate the sheer chaos and in industry that is happening right now. Look, like, look, this is just amazing. I genuinely don't even think we've scratched the surface on how much chaos we can produce here. You know what I can't wait to do? Something stupid on that thing. That's like next goal. But actually, next goal is working on this area over here. So as you can see, top right, we need to create whatever those things are. Um, and uh, in order to do that, I've set up these three, uh, whatever these things are called. What are these called? Assemblers. I've set up these assemblers here. And so this assembler feeds into this guy, and then this assembler feeds into this guy. Now, this is building the one smart plating, the, the one smart plating thing. Uh, in order to do that, though, we need iron plates and rotors, and both of those require another assembler of iron plates and screws for this guy, and then we need screws and iron plates for this guy. Now, thankfully, I've already set up screws and iron plates to be fully automated, so it's pretty simple. All we really have to do is build out... Uh, there's something I want to research real quick. So if we go to the logistics and we select this, we want these conveyor belt splitters and mergers and the lift and the productivity display. Uh, so we're going to do that. We're going to select these guys. Should be good to go. Launch. All right, we got three minutes to wait for that. So we can at least begin creating... This. So what I eventually would like to do is I want to send some of these plates over. So we're going to send over to here. We need to have it go this direction. And then it can feed into here. Uh, and I believe this is the only one that actually needs plates. Yeah, so iron plates here. Screws are the other thing, which are all the way over there, which will feed into. And then this one needs iron rods. So similar but different circumstance here. Sweet. We can make this now. Merger or splitter. Okay, we're going to want to make a splitter. And we'll be splitting like here. Splitting that up. So now we've got... When one goes in, one comes out, and the other, yep, goes. So we'll have one feeding off in this direction, and we'll run all the way up to that guy. And then we'll do another splitter. So now we've got iron rods being split and plates being split. So that's beautiful. And I think that'll be good, honestly. So then what we can do is, well, we can honestly rework our screws so that both of them need screws. So we need some unification there. Um, that should be fairly straightforward because our screw factory is up here. Uh, and our, this guy is making tons of fuel now. We have, so, I went and chopped down just like, basically that whole hillside was covered in trees. It's not now. And then I think if we take this merger and we just do this. We have this connect up to there. Apparently it can't because it's an invalid shape. And we're going to have this guy run all the way down this way. Let's make it as high up as possible so we can walk under it and be fine. Need a nice splitter there. Wait, it was like that. And then we have this guy run all the way right to here. And then we'll have this guy run clean over 
to... Okay, we should have it all set up now to where screws should eventually be making it. Doesn't seem like they are. And let's do the mur The murders shouldn't need power, right? There we go. I had the uh, conveyor belt go in the wrong direction. So eventually, screws will come. And we will be... We'll be moving, I think. Because everything should be set up at that point to where this is making rotors. And this is making reinforced iron gets fed into here and this will be making smart plating and then if we make a storage thing all right let's see if the splitter works so we've got our screws being produced being split sending over here looking good and of course i did forget to power everything so and after a slight bit a little hiccup in power we should be good and rolling now yeah look at that nice you know, now that we got the splitter, I feel like we should set up a new smelter. Another smelter, I mean, for the copper, just because we are getting quite a bit. Uh, so maybe we just set up another one right next to it. I feel like the more automation I put in, the more chaos and <laughs> the more chaos ensues. Uh, but we're, the good news is we're working towards those 50 uh, things. I wonder how many we have currently. Probably like five six look at that we got six that's great so now i think honestly i think the main thing that the main challenge is just getting enough resources to be able to continue like driving these machines because we've got these and let's see what's our power grid level at currently our max consuming is real close 177 and our capacity is 190 so we really need to either produce more of this stuff or we need to find a better source. And I think you can get coal in the game. I feel like that would make sense. And it would be, I would imagine it's something that you can actually like kind of produce in a way. And I really don't see why you need foundations. Seems like a waste of resources, honestly. Like, look at this. We're fully automating. We're utilizing the space effectively. Why would I want to do anything else? You run fast in this game. So who cares if I'm running all over the place? Anyone have any idea? what uh this cave is here for what is a blue what a power slug so we have these which are vertical how do they work now is this like the set height can you not do anything with them or oh oh wait okay so you can oh my gosh you can go so high with these wait a second i have how high can you go like Actually, how high? What the heck is that thing? Oh god. Really? Wait, these guys can float? I thought this was like a drone or something, but this can just float. Oh, that. This. This makes me curious. Can we? Okay, I'm, I have an idea. It's going to take me a while to build. Okie dokie, I may have uh, made a bit of a mess of things, but let me show you around because, I mean, it's looking pretty good. I really am uh, not sure if this was worth it or if there's any point to it, but essentially every single line of these products that we are making uh, splits off and uh, then gets shoved all the way so this is the line that goes uh, let's uh let's i also figured out you can slide so that's been helping uh, me to get around just well 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 okay we're gonna go this way uh so everything gets split and run around and uh makes its way to our main storage area which is um entirely unnecessary but I had the idea and wanted to see what in the world would happen. It's uh, quite the mess, but I, I kind of like like the aesthetic. We've really got like a nice trail of things now. So everything gets merged in uh, to this area. And we're just storing all these things. And essentially, the reason why I made it was because I wanted to. But there is actually a slight function to it. Because <laughs> we'll be pulling things from all these different storage things. 
And I decided uh, when those fill up, there's still plenty of space for things to just constantly be being produced. And right now, that is this uh, giant weird network of storage bins. And uh, uh, there's not really any rhyme or reason to it. Uh, essentially things just kind of go through the splitter and get stored. And I mean, we're storing a whole variety of things. Like it's actually functioning fairly well. Why do I have so much biofuel? I've been running out of power all left, right, and center. It must be because I just never put stuff back, <laughs> put stuff back in. Like there's not a lot going into each level, but into the top levels, but I, it's pretty good. I like it. I like, I had the idea and you know, the nice thing is it's fully modular and we can go up as high as we want now then let's not break our bones okay well we broke them a little bit but uh our computer system parts or computer parts or what i don't know what they are called oop oh i didn't slide that gum it feels nice to be able to slide around uh this should be still going um ooh, there we go and we need 50 so now let's turn these into the elevator Seal it, baby. Is that good? Are we good? Now send it. Whoa. Goodbye. Did it do anything? Like, what's the point in that? Is there any point? <laughs> I guess I can just send this. Is this just like how you... Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Ah, okay, so this unlocks tier three. Vehicular transport, tractor. All right, we're doing it. Water, coal power. Okay, this is gonna be sick. Next episode's gonna be so freaking cool because we're gonna get coal power and we're not gonna have to have all the dumb stuff. Also, one of you mentioned that you can just hit spacebar. Is that true? Ah, you have changed my life in so many ways. I cannot thank you enough. I'm still going crazy, though. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. And uh, bada boom, bada bing, and a bada boom, and bada bing. <clears throat> I've been seeing this dang rock for so long, and I'm curious what it is. Raw quartz. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, that didn't last long. Well, hello, what are you? What are you? Oh, you're an enemy. Oh. Well, that was just rude. Why would you spit plasma? Or spl spitter or splitter? I don't know what it said. What is this angelic sound I hear? Hey, get out of here. This compost ain't for you. All right, last thing I think we're going to do is we are going to split all this stuff so that one, nah, probably two of them feed into our storage system. So we'll do a splitter there. Now, which I got to figure out what, what track are you on? Hey, I told you to get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Why did I bounce on your body, you fat tubby guy? And there we go. Now... If that fills up, we've got it backed up here in our giant storage thingy. And I'm excited about it because now I don't have to think that my hard. Boy, look at the progress we've made today. I love it. It's becoming more and more chaotic, more and more messy. But at least we have tons of storage. And I think that's a win in itself. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like in real life. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where I am going to fill that green void right there. That should not be there. That should be filled with junk. And I will do it next episode. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Uh,